What's going on, everybody? You see a Jaguar back here with GinJag.com, and as the season approaches, we all get extremely excited about finally being able to watch our teams play for the first time in months. But one thing that we also get very, very excited about in the month of August is being able to draft our fantasy teams. And I have a lot of like non-Jaguar fans from everywhere reaching out to me and asking me, Hey UCF, which Jaguar player should I draft this year? Hey UCF, what wide receiver is going to be leading the team this year? Hey UCF, do they sell churros in TIAA Bank Stadium? And I am going to answer most of those questions for you in this video. So let's get it. Now the number one fantasy player for the Jaguars is pretty obvious. It's going to be Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette is the bell cow running back on the Jaguars. And when you're drafting for a fantasy team, that's what you want. You want big production. You want to be able to get a guy that you know will be able to get over 20 touches a game. Uh, that's going to be getting most of the carries on a team. And that's exactly what Leonard Fournette is. And not only is he going to get carries, but he's also... A goal line guy, he can bowl through and get you some touchdowns. Uh, last year he had over 1,000 yards rushing, had over 300 yards receiving, had several touchdowns. So Leonard Fournette, he's going to be ha probably have an average draft position of end of the first round. And he absolutely is the number one option for you for your fantasy team. Now number two for the Jaguars has to be the strength of the team, and that is the Jaguars defense. The Jaguars defense, that is a matchup lock. It doesn't matter who the Jaguars defense is playing. There's a good chance that they are going to be getting turnovers, whether it be interceptions, fumbles. They're going to be scoring touchdowns. They're going to be getting sacks, and they're not going to be allowing much yardage and points on the board. And just being able to have a defense, when you look at them, they're scoring 20, 30 points a game. And you look at other defenses, and they're like ranging in, in the negative 5 to 5 points range. Having a defense that scores like they do, it's an awesome bonus for your team. And the Jaguars defense has to come in number two on this list for me. Now number three on this list has to be the Jaguars newly acquired tight end, Austin Sinferian Jenkins. I think ASJ is going to have a huge year for the Jaguars. The Jaguars have really never had a very good tight end in their offense. The top two tight ends in history were Kyle Brady in the early 2000s and Mercedes Lewis, who recently uh, got acquired by the Green Bay Packers. But Mercedes Lewis is more of an inline blocking tight end as opposed to really a receiving threat. And last year, he had a bunch of touchdowns and receptions. However, he was schemed open a lot through the play action. Uh, Bortles is very, very good in the red zone, throwing 18 touchdowns and zero interceptions. And really, Blake Bortles didn't have a red zone target last season. And Austin Zafarian Jenkins being able to get a big body guy in there. I think Austin Zafarian Jenkins, while he might not have a ton of yards this season, I think he's going to be huge in PPR, getting a lot of receptions and also getting a lot of touchdowns. And really, I think he's going to be lights out, especially at the beginning of the year when teams aren't really necessarily scheming for that. They're going to be loading the box, trying to stop the run. But not many times in the past have the Jaguars been able to line up a tight end three feet away from the offensive tackle and that player actually be a legitimate threat in the passing game. And that's exactly what Austin Safarian Jenkins is going to be. And I think Austin Safarian Jenkins is going to be huge for Bortles, be able to help ease that box a little bit. Uh, actually give us a receiving threat in there that the defense actually has to account for. And I think he's going to be huge in receptions and also big in touchdowns. Now, number four, we are going to be talking about wide receivers finally. And it's honestly very, very tough to be able to forecast which wide receiver is going to be leading this team. You have five different players on a team between Marquise Lee, Dante Moncrief, D.D. Westbrook, Keelan Cole, and D.J. Chark. And of those five guys, I wouldn't be completely shocked if any of those guys are leading the team and, and receiving. Now, when I look at it, I think the player that's going to be given the best opportunity and it's essentially their spot to lose when it comes to leading the pass game has to be Dante Moncrief. Uh, he's a big old body. I think he's going to fit into that like wide receiver number one role. Uh, Blake Bortles has shown in the past that he does like to throw to uh, bigger guys. Uh, when when Dante Moncrief is on his game, when he's healthy, when he's got 
uh, you know, the pass game is going. He can be very, very good. He can create separation. He's a fast guy. And, you know, he has the body of a number one wide receiver. He's just got to be able to uh, live through his potential. So, uh, number four on my list, I have Dante Moncrief. Now, coming in at number five on this list, I'm going to go ahead and put in Marquise Lee. Uh, Blake Bortles has shown that he does have a lot of trust in Marquise Lee. He led the team in receptions last year. He did have the most drops in the NFL, which he has to be able to overcome. But I do think that as long as he stays healthy, he's going to keep getting a volume of targets. And I think with the emergence of uh, tight end in the game, some more wide receiving threats, I think it's going to open it up for Marquise Lee a little bit more to be able to do more than he uh, did in the year 2017. So... Uh, when I look at other wide receivers, I think DJ Chark, of all the wide receivers on the team, probably has the highest potential. However, he is a rookie. It takes a little bit for rookies to adjust, and, you know, we have a bunch of guys that, uh, you know, like Keelan Cole and D.D. Westbrook, they're going into their second years. You know, sh we should be expecting a pretty good amount from them, but it's so hard to really pinpoint who's going to be leading this team in receiving so you know I have Austin Zafari and Jenkins over those guys and then you know Leonard Fournette coming up number one and then the Jaguars defense coming in at number two so it'll be interesting to kind of monitor what kind of uh, production these guys are getting in the preseason what kind of where they're lining up what kind of looks they're going to be getting and uh, it's going to be something to monitor really in the preseason to really tell when you should be drafting them for your fantasy teams so I hope this helps you guys when it comes to drafting your uh, fantasy teams. And best of luck to you guys, and I hope you guys all win your leagues. Now this is UCF Jaguar with GenJag.com. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out. And let me tell you, UCF Jaguar is without a doubt the, the best. best Jaguars YouTuber out there. Anything you need to know about yeah. the Jaguars, UCF has got you covered.